An anaphylactic reaction to peanuts is scary as it can occur within seconds and can cause breathlessness, even leading to unconsciousness if not treated immediately. However, the longer that you delay introduction, the greater risk your baby has of having an anaphylactic attack. So in today's episode of Nourish, I'm going to explain how and when to introduce peanuts to your baby. Stay tuned. Hi, if this is our first time connecting, welcome. My name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a pre and postnatal dietitian. I help parents give their babies the best start possible with the power of good food. Make sure that you connect with me on my socials. You'll find all of the details in the description box below this video. Now, although it varies from country to country, statistics suggest that around 2% of infants will have a peanut allergy. If you or your partner have a family history of food allergies, your baby's risk of allergies will be even more increased. As long as you don't personally have an anaphylactic reaction to peanuts, the best place to introduce peanuts to your baby is in the womb. Consuming peanuts at least twice each week during pregnancy and breastfeeding will help to build up your baby's immune tolerance. Once you've started your baby on solids, somewhere from four to around six months of age, it's recommended that you introduce peanut paste. When doing so, keep these 10 tips in mind. Number one, start with a peanut paste, not peanuts, as they're too hard for babies, which can cause choking. Number two, when you decide to start peanut paste, don't give your baby any other allergens on the same day so that you can clearly identify that any reactions are actually caused by the peanuts. Number three, in line with this, choose a day when your baby is healthy and relaxed and doesn't have any pre-existing eczema or rashes. Number four, some parents choose to introduce peanut paste in the car park outside of a children's hospital or their paediatrician's office, particularly if their baby is at high risk. If you're really concerned, you can even book an appointment with your local doctor or paediatrician and give your baby their first taste of peanut paste under their supervision. Number five, don't put peanut paste on your baby's skin. I know this is common, but instead mix a small amount, around a quarter of a teaspoon of peanut paste into their vegetable puree. Number six, monitor your baby carefully. And if you notice any swelling, hives, difficulty breathing or vomiting, immediately stop giving your baby food and seek medical advice. Number seven, continue to monitor your baby for symptoms over the next 48 hours, just in case. Number eight, if your baby doesn't exhibit any adverse reactions, repeat the exposure to peanut paste, slightly increasing the volume by around a quarter of a teaspoon each time. Number nine, I recommend choosing two days of the week which become peanut paste days, say a Monday and a Saturday at morning snack, so that you can rest assured that your baby is building up their immune tolerance by receiving their peanut paste twice each week. And number 10, once your baby is tolerating peanut paste and is managing a solid diet, he or she may enjoy their peanut paste on toast or on a slice of crunchy apple. Now, feel free to ask any questions in the comments box below and make sure that you check out some of my other nutrition videos for new parents, such as how to avoid constipation in babies. I'll see you in my next video. Any, yeah. Sorry. Take three. <laughs>